book on the mobility and durability. This is Coach Richard Thurman. We have five hip moves for the piriformis. The first one is a seated movement. It's our easiest progression. You're going to sit just legs crossed. And then you can do things like push down gently on the knee just to kind of work the hip and open it up. And then just rest your hand there. And then we can also just lay over the front of our knee just to get a little bit of a deeper stretch into the hip there. For the second movement, you're just going to lie on your back, cross the leg over once again. Some people might already feel a stretch there. Then we're going to just open up the hip a little bit by pressing on the knee gently. And then we can also pull to our chest, both the ankle and the knee. Then also you can push against gently, just opening up the hip. And finally, you can put the arms through and pull on the knee on the opposite side. Gently release and back to neutral. This next progression I really like. You're gonna start in a seated position, cross one ankle over the opposite leg, and then bend the knee until you're in a cross leg position. Plant the hands down, press down into the floor, and open the chest up proud. This should give you a nice deep stretch inside of the hip on the crossed leg. To get out of it, you just slide back, release, and then we'll cross over and do the other side. Just remember this can be intensified or the level intensity can be decreased by either pulling the foot in closer or releasing. Keep the chest up nice and tall and proud, and that should give you a nice deep stretch. This next movement is from the shin box position. You're going to rotate the hips and then you're going to lean over that lead knee. You can use your hands as a support or if you can bring your head down to the floor you can do that also. This is going to give you a nice deep stretch into the hip. Rotate around to the other side. Those hips mobilized as well. And then kind of use your fists as a platform. You can use a yoga block as well. The next position is a position from yoga, it's the pigeon pose. The front leg is going to be bent, the back leg fully extended, chest up nice and tall and proud, shoulder blades back. That's the starting position. The second progression is leaning forward. You can use your fists as a support or a yoga block, one fist. Or you can go to the most advanced progression and bring the arms out in front of you and lay the head on the floor. This is the fifth and final progression. Give them all a try and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram at coach underscore RT3. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Find out more about my coaching and training at coachrichthurman.com. Find me anywhere on social media at hashtag movingthepeople.